Hi, CB friends. This is the old NEC UPC 1156 here. It's shorted yet input and the output. And this is the newer one, Toshiba TA7222. Yes, you just need two holes here and here, like this and this. And crossed over, latched over pin 9 and pin 10, and we soldering in again. Now here we have uh, soldering points of the TA7222. Uh, we can see pin 9 and pin 10 all latched over here, crossed over here. Uh, the pin number 10 here on the board goes directly to the modulation transformer. And the number 9 here on the board, this is the bootstrap. Pin number 7 and number 8 are soldered together here. On the number 8 here, this is the ground. Um, point 6 and 7 here on the board is not connected. And the number 5 here is connected to the number 5 on the board. And this is the attenuator or a filter. The number 4 here is the input directly from the volume knob, from the volume pot. Number 2 and number 3 are not connected to the board. And number 1 here is the source, directly from the power switch here. This here is the new TA7222 here, install it on the case here. And these are the removed, uh, replaced uh, capacitors here. C95 is 470 uh, microfarad, close to the modulation transformer here. C92. Is also 47 microfarad and C88 is also 47 microfarad here. Yes, and C89 is removed here. So, this is the soldering side of the transceiver here. This TA7222 is removed from an old superstar and the soldering leads are too short to connect it directly to the board. Now uh, I've lengthened this uh, with uh, small and short wires here. You can see here pin number 9 and number 10 is latched it over crossed over here. The pin number 10 is the output to the modulation transformer here and the pin number 9 is the boot strap. And uh, pin 7 and 8 here are soldering together and goes to the pin number 8 to the ground here. Pin number 6 is not connected. Pin number 5, the violet wire here, uh, is the filter directly uh, close to the capacitor here, 47 microfarad. The pin number 4 is connected to the board to the 4 num and it's the input directly from the volume knob uh, from the microphone 
a preamplifier or emulator. Number two and number three are not connected. And uh, number one here is the source is about uh, 12 volts here directly from the power switch. Okay, um, the modulation amplifier is also very strong here. We will test it, that key and modulation. We'll send now here. You can see here the power is about 4 watts here, that key, 4 watts. Now we give audio, audio, audio. Up to 10 watts here, not bad here. Okay, this is a short look into the open case here of the Uniden PC169 clone here. Uh, this transceiver is similar to Cobra 138, to realistic TRC449, a Stalker 101 from Tiberi, uh, the old President Grant MK1 here with three buttons. And here you can see the modulation amplifier on this side here, uh, the new TA7222 from Toshiba. And here this is the 7.8 MHz crystal filter. And here this is the PLL synthesizer, it's the MC145106 from Motorola. In the original you need it's PC169 includes the UPD858 uh, PLO synthesizer here.